This is Navajo Lake behind me, on the other side of the road there. It's a really pretty lake. Unfortunately, they're doing construction on the road. They're redoing the road. And so there are lots of delays on the road and lots of dust in the air. It's just not, not nice. But anyway, I'm doing a little hike. It's either to the top of that mountain or a similar one over here that you can't see. made it to a saddle between two mountains. This is called Navajo Peak, I believe. And then this one behind me is Andy Nelson Peak. This is the highest mountain in this county. And that's why I'm interested in climbing it. It's not the highest point in the county. Um, there's, a, there's the side of a mountain that's uh, higher than the peak here. Anyway, it's kind of complicated. But uh, I'm going to take a seat here, eat my sandwich, rest for a little bit, see what the weather does. It's been thundering for basically this entire hike. I've been hiking for maybe an hour. Um, but no lightning and no rain, so we'll see. Just moved over to the side a little bit and you can see both peaks better. That's Andy Nelson Peak. That's Navajo Peak, and I'm at the saddle between the two peaks. I'm on top, made it to the top about 20 minutes after I left the saddle down there. It's interesting, there are trees all around the top here, but no trees on the tippy top. There's just a little pile of rocks up here. This is this little summit pile. Over here is Navajo Lake. I started hiking down at the edge of the lake somewhere over over here. You can see the rain coming down over there too. It's time to head back down I guess. <laughs> I want to get off this high point here get back down to the saddle and then I have a little little uh, package of, of mandarin oranges or peaches or something like that that I'll, I'll have to celebrate. Well, I left the top just a few minutes ago. You can probably hear that it has started raining. Not great. Made it back to the car, it took about an hour and a half to get back down from the top. And I've driven a little ways down the road. So I wanted to show you guys Navajo Lake. It's a really pretty lake, isn't it? Really pretty spot. I was going to take my kayak out, but the weather is just too gross. Oh, and I forgot to say that it rained for only about a minute up there while I was on the mountain. And uh, now that I'm back in my car, it's sprinkling again a little bit. And I'm stuck in road construction. Here is yet another meadow. Remember how I said that that mountain that I just hiked up was the highest mountain in the county, but not the highest point in the county? Right now I'm driving to the highest point in the county. As I understand it, I park and then it's like a five minute walk through forest to get there. And because it's on the side of a mountain, there aren't really any views and it's not very impressive. But it is one of the Utah County high points. So gotta do it if I wanna do all of them. 
getting into the smaller back roads now. The road started to get a little bit rough and so uh, I pulled over and we'll walk the rest of the way. You can see the road here. It's not, not, not super great. And I'm only about, I don't know, probably less than half a mile away from it now, so not a big deal. After about 10 minutes of walking up a trail that, or I guess a road that got eventually worse and worse and worse till it was just a rocky track, I'm now at kind of a viewpoint or an overlook, I think. It's, it's, that's what the sign said. Not much of an overlook, not, not compared to what I have seen earlier in the day, but yeah, that's okay. All right, so now I'm almost at the high point. I need to leave the, this little track and head off into that. And then I should should come across another little pile of rocks that'll signify the high point of the county. I think this is Kane County. So I have the Kane County high point marked on my phone and I'm right on top of where it should be. And I've walked all over this area trying to find a pile of rocks or something, but I can't find anything. Of course, it's raining now. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time wandering and looking. Problem is, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. Like, there should be a pile of stones at the, at the marker, or at the high point, but not necessarily. I don't know. Well, that was a bit of a, of a bust, I guess. It's four o'clock now, and I'm guessing that somewhere around here I can get internet access. So I'm going to look up that high point, see if there is something there that I should have been looking for, or if there is nothing there. Alright, it's the next day and I found the stupid cairn, the stupid pile of rocks that I couldn't find yesterday. There's also uh, some fabric strapped to the tree up here. Nothing terribly exciting, but I had to find it. I think yesterday I was like 50 or 100 feet that way. Um, but then this morning I went to where I could get some Wi-Fi and uh, I downloaded multiple people's versions of where the spot should be and I eventually found it. It really wasn't hard. I just wasn't looking in exactly the right spot. I still have several hours of daylight left and um, I think I'm going to go check out Cedar Breaks National Monument. It's basically like a mini Bryce Canyon National Park. I passed by Bryce Canyon uh, yesterday. I didn't stop because I've been there before. Never been to Cedar Breaks, so this should be interesting. Wow, this is pretty incredible. This is Cedar Breaks. National Monument. There are a few different viewpoints. I think three that you can drive to. I'm gonna go to each one and see uh, see the view from each one. So I've been to the four overlooks or viewpoints that you can drive to. All four were very nice and this isn't a very big national monument so you can go to all of them in 15 or 20 minutes. Next, 
See that mountain there? That is Brian Head Peak. I'm going to drive to the top of it because that's another county high point. It's also a ski resort in, uh, in the winter. On the north side of the peak uh, are the ski runs. I think that's a fox. Yeah. How cool is that? Was amazing and unexpected. I think that might be the first fox I've ever seen in the wild. Almost to the top of Brian Head now. A little bit of snow up here still. So I'm on top of Brian Head Peak. I haven't gotten out yet because it's super windy and I won't be able to talk when I'm out there. But yeah, the elevation up here is like 11,300 or something like that. There's the town of Brian Head down there. You can see the top of one of the trams down there, the ski resort. And this, this marmot here. <laughs> There's a little shelter up here built by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 30s. can see cedar breaks out there. This has been one of the longest days of my life. I can't believe how much I've seen and done today. And that fox, how cool was that? That was just right at the base of the mountain here, at the base of Brian Head. Anyway, I went ahead, it's, let's see, it's 5.38. There's still like four hours of daylight left. Uh, the next time you see me, I should be at a camp for the night. Got this lava flow over here. It's about 7.30 and I've found a pretty cool camp for the night. So there's the car. Here's a big old open meadow. Here's a giant volcanic boulder and a fire pit, a log seat, and then more little meadow area. Out here you can see one of the cinder cones, or at least the edge of the cinder cone. That's one of them, and then there's another one out over here. And there's some really interesting volcanic formations over there that I drove past while looking for a campsite. And um, I'll go explore those more in the morning, so you can see those in the morning. I think right now I'm going to make dinner on this rock. So here's dinner, kind of. Uh, got a tortilla, and then a layer of refried beans, and then cheese, and then I drizzled on some hot sauce. I know a lot of you probably also watch Adventure Van Man's videos, Brian's videos. He loves his Cholula hot sauce, which I think is disgusting, and it's not hot at all. This is the good stuff. El Yucateco is the brand, and it's a uh, habanero sauce. Really good stuff. It is spicy. It's just got a much better flavor than Cholula or Tabasco, in my opinion. And it's, again, much hotter than those. So now let's put this on top and fry it up in the pan. Put the stove instead of on the rock, on the big log, because it's flatter. And look how big this thing is. This is a this is an aspen tree. I don't know if I've ever seen one that big around. That's a couple feet in diameter. Anyway, I put oil in there, and I will. Uh, I'm about to put the quesadilla inside.
I flipped it over. You can see the side is nice and golden. Didn't realize my two tortillas were so different in size, but whatever. And here is the finished product. I usually like to have sour cream on it, but I don't have any sour cream, so I'm just going to eat it like this. That was delicious. It really hit the spot. And I was just thinking, you know, I was saying how how big this Aspen was, but then I saw this guy over here. And it's huge. Alright guys, I'm done with dinner. It's been a long day. Lots of fun things, but I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to stop recording video and clean up and then get ready for bed and just sit in bed and listen to podcasts. Hope you enjoyed the day's activities and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.